Hello guys, what's up? Stefano here. So, finally I can uh, show you uh, Elements Cinematic Rhythms. Uh, let me say I'm really happy with this library and uh, Elements Cinematic Rhythms is a brand new contact library for creating uh, uh, contemporary folk, tribal, warrior percussion and uh, I think it's a little bit a different library uh, from other percussion library and uh, in this case uh, it's not a uh, super bombastic uh, percussion library uh, so I, I, I've created this library uh, referencing the aesthetic of uh, soundtracks such as The Last Kingdom, you know, Age of Empires, Assassin's Creed uh, and I think that uh, in this library there are a lot of sounds, a lot of instruments that I really need when I, 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 I'm creating that kind of soundtracks because uh, um, for that kind of soundtrack, yeah, you need of uh, epic percussion but uh, usually not so super big, super bombastic but you need of a little bit a more folk uh, sound, tribal sound, authentic sound and with this library I, I think that uh, I, I tried to achieve this sound and I'm really happy uh, for that because uh, in my opinion it works really really well and uh, okay let's start I, I would like just to show you how to use this library the, in this uh, tutorial I, I, I'm going to explain uh, the features and how to use uh, in the best way this library so first of all we have three main categories, uh, single instrument, multi instruments and multi sequencer. Of course, uh, single instrument folder, the single instrument folder is the starting point of the library and inside we have percussions and sound design. Percussions folder, in this uh, folder we have uh, all the instruments uh, and you see there are a lot, a lot of instruments. Uh, and for example, uh, warrior drum, uh, one, two, three, different categories, bass drum, village drum, drum cassa, drum kit, frame drums, uh, a lot of toms, uh, Latin percussions, uh, hit, uh, uh, tambourine, uh, gongs, uh, cymbal, uh, metal object, uh, taikos, uh, uh, baskayon, uh, stick, wood stick, uh, etc. Water drum, snare, you know, all, in my opinion, that instruments that are really useful to create tribal, warrior, folk uh, percussion. In sound design we have uh, a little bit of more hybrid uh, stuff and then I, I play with this, uh, I will play with this. Multi instruments, of course, is a collection of uh, uh, pre-mixed, uh, let me say, instrument and are really useful to, to have a big, big sound uh, and uh, a multi-instrument that sounds really, really uh, big and uh, complex. And uh, multi-sequencer is similar, but in this case uh, we have also uh, the sequencer activated and now I, I will ex explain you. So first of all let me explain a little bit uh, uh, okay maybe we can start from a multi just to explain some some import important important uh, uh, info okay first of all uh, the interface let me explain a little bit with this uh, this big knob you can uh, add a little bit of saturation, vintage uh, compressor, is a macro that controls uh, a lot of mm, parameters. Then we have expert. With expert you open this drop down menu with um, some additional uh, controls. Some of these controls are the same of the home page here. Uh, so stretch, uh, attack, decay, uh, transient shaping, uh, you know, cut off, uh, offset shape, 
but with expert you have uh, some additional controls for example there is the close mic level the pan pot for close mic room mic pan pot tune uh, loop uh, close is uh, the level of the uh, close mic for the audio loops uh, room for the audio loops saturator reverse uh, that uh, add uh, in some situation a uh, um, reverse effect for the audio loops replica is a delay uh, special is a, a insert effect and it depends by the patch in some case uh, could be a reverb in other case a, a particular convolution effect you know a worm is a vintage compressor fit filter is a classic uh, filter cutoff uh, a low pass or band pass and tempo with tempo there is the menu here to, to, to change the, the the tempo of the audio loop from normal to half time okay then there is the mm, this area here input quantize with input quantize you have a real time quantization when you uh, play uh, when you are playing in real time with the audio loop and uh, i suggest to use this input quantize in some situation and now i i will uh, show you i'm going to show you how i use this input quantize info tab with the info tab you you see that uh, Audio loops are red colors, yellow colors are for, uh, is for uh, round robin and uh, green colors roll and double. Uh, these two key switch here, white and blue is, are for the sequencer, so sequencer on and sequencer off. Purple colors uh, are for the time, the time of the sequencer because uh, in this case, with this key, key switch, you, you can change the, uh, for example, from 80 to 70, quarter to 80, etc. etc. Quantize uh, is the key switch here, these two keys here to activate or deactivate the input quantize. How I'm doing right now, okay. And of course, in, uh, when you have uh, a multi-loaded, uh, if you uh, change, for example, the input quantizer for a keys with a key switch, you are uh, changing the input quantizer for any instruments. Okay, and this is uh, valid also for, uh, for example, the sequence on off. So this is just some information about the the home uh, home page. Another important uh, uh, aspect of the expert tab is the presets. Let me explain uh, uh, what is these presets. Uh, what is presets? Mm, of course, uh, with all with all these uh, controls here, you can change a lot of uh, parameters. Uh, you can change the transient shaping. The, you can do a stretch. Uh, to create particular effect. Remember that the stretch works only for uh, audio loops and uh, you can uh, uh, use the tune, you know, a lot of, uh, of parameters and could be helpful uh, save this, uh, this uh, setting because maybe you are creating your custom uh, presets. So uh, if you click here, you have this browser uh, there are some presets and uh, each preset is for uh, the, the instrument uh, is for a specific instrument you can you can load also another preset uh, for example now I'm using warrior drum I can use uh, a preset from a bass drum but in general I've created uh, uh, some starting presets uh, uh, specific uh, for each instrument. So if I load, if I'm using Warrior Drum One, of course I have to load Warrior Drum One. And for example, in this case, uh, let me show you. Let me show you. We have, uh, 
for example Warrior Drum 1, Factory Sound, No Room, Tuned and Delay, Dropped, uh, Strange. Ok, for example now I, I load the Dropped and I have these presets, uh, Strange, Tune and delay. Okay, so are some different uh, uh, preset sound, and uh, there is a lot of reverb here. And uh, if you want to save the presets, of course, you have to click save here, and then you have to navigate into the correct folder. In this case, we are using the percussions instrument, you know, because we have uh, uh, this uh, category, percussions. So when you want to save this uh, uh, instrument, you, you can click on save, go navigate into percussion presets, warrior drum, and you save your custom presets. When now you can save and to see uh, the preset here, you have, to, you have to reset the engine. So after you have saved the, the preset, if you want to see the preset here, reset the engine and then reopen preset here and you have the preset saved here, okay, ready to load. So this just to explain how to use uh, the presets uh, tab. Um, okay, then there is the sequencer and the, the FX rack, but now I would like to, to explain uh, some important uh, info about uh, how to play with this library, because uh, uh, it's important to understand the, in my opinion, um, the philosophy under this, uh, this library. Uh, for example, now I start from multi-sequencer and let me try with, uh, I don't know, let me try with Warrior Drum, yeah. Okay, so, first of all, the multi-sequencer uh, is a combination, is a multi-instruments, and in this case I'm using the sequencer so each, uh, uh, each instrument here in this category, each instrument have the uh, sequencer activated, okay? When you want to use the sequencer, the important thing is uh, go in play with your do. Go in play, maybe you can uh, activate your uh, click and then you can play with the sequencer. Okay. Okay, so this is how to use the sequencer. Then, of course, uh, I love using this library, also combining, for example, audio loops plus sequencer. And this is uh, ha usually how I, I use this library, because, for example, the audio loops are really cool to, to have a starting uh, sound that uh, is absolutely ready. And really organic. But... If you want to use the audio loop in real time with the sequencer when you are, for example, just trying, I suggest to use the input quantize because uh, maybe when you play all, all, uh, a lot of notes together, it's not easy uh, having a perfect timing, okay? So in this case, I suggest to use the input quantize so 
So with the input quantize uh, is easy because uh, even I if, if even if I play a lot of notes together are always in sync. And uh, in particular then if I want to use also the sequencer for example okay so in this way is really easy uh, the input quantize works in real time so it's useful only when you are playing and uh, for example now I can try uh, to record a part let me show you Okay, now I can deactivate because I, I don't need uh, uh, anymore the input quantize and uh, because now of course I quantize the, the MIDI event because the input quantize is only in, in real time but uh, of course is not a real uh, quant is not a real quantize so then you have to <laughs> quantize the MIDI notes that you have uh, uh, played. And then maybe I can add uh, some part with the sequencer. Let me try, maybe I can record uh, this part. Well, I quantize. So, uh, as you can see, uh, usually I play, I play, I play the the the, the, the sequencer in this way because uh, each key has uh, uh, different heat. For each key, there are the round robins up to twelve round robins. So. There is not the classic machine effect because are 12 round robins and uh, in this way is really in my opinion inspiring because so it's easy create a, a really complex part. Maybe this one, this note here. Okay, well, now let me show you how to use the purple colors here to change the time, the timing. For example, let me go and play. So this is the, 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 the starting tempo, the starting time. OK, 
okay so if i click on the first key switch here the first purple color nothing happened because uh, it's the same timing but if i change the key switch i have a double time in this case Okay, so this is interesting in my opinion because, for example, now I play at this part and remember that this part, in this part I'm using the audio loops that are this one plus, uh, no, this one, sorry, plus the sequencer that are this one from the C notes, okay? Now, for example, I want to change the timing here. Mm, I won't start for uh, with the basic time, but then I won't create a movement, okay? So I can uh, create the, the key switch here, and of course I can do in real time. Maybe you can add also with the pencil, but now I, I would like to, to insert the key switch in, uh, uh, just in real time, okay? Let me try. So... I, I record also the first key switch. Okay, I, I created this key switch here. And uh, I need to quantize uh, to have the perfect uh, timing. Uh, and voila, now I, I have also the key switch, uh, the key switch here. Let me try, let me go and play. Okay, well, as you can see, it is uh, really uh, fast, this workflow, because I created a, a pretty, pretty complex part. Uh, in this case, I, I'm using the audio loop, the audio loops plus the round robin played by the sequencer. Of course, you can programming also the sequence, the, the round robin without the sequencer. And now I, 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 I'm going to show you, but I, I would like to explain, for example, how to use the multi sequencer because it's one of the, uh, one of the, um, in my opinion, fast way to create a grid percussion track. <laughs> For example, now I can, maybe I want to add here uh, another part with the sequencer. No, maybe this one. Maybe I want the normal time. Okay. Okay, so as you can see here, we have uh, the key switch, the first key, so the, 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 the C is the, the normal tempo, uh, D is uh, uh, in this case double time. So, 
anytime when uh, anytime you want the double time for example you have to create this key switch maybe i can use also a triplet time if i if i want a, a rolling maybe let me try now I, I take this key switch here and I have a double time a, tri a triplet time double normal So, you can try different combination, but the use of the key switch, uh, uh, so the purple colors here, uh, controls the time uh, uh, of the sequencer for, and uh, start always f from the first time. And that depends by the preset. In this case, for example, the first time uh, is uh, 80, so the first note here is is 80 then if i click d will be uh triplet and etc etc okay so this is pretty pretty cool then of course uh, another nice uh, thing is that in this case i i i created for example this part And I, I and I I think okay it's 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 nice, but for example I can duplicate the track, and maybe I I I try to load another multi, to, and I I try to create a, a a layered sound. I I use the same MIDI, so I don't change uh, anything for now, and maybe I can try with. Um, deep drums for example and let me try how it works So this is uh, uh, usually how I, I, I work with this library because in this case I can create a really big sound in just uh, uh, three clicks because maybe I, I can copy again the, the MIDI and uh, I reset the multi and uh, I can try with another, uh, another part. Let me tambourine and free hands and again I play. Voilà. So, three tracks, same MIDI, but uh, of course, I'm playing uh, all these instants at the same time. Uh, and I have a big sound, in my opinion, sounds really, really, really good. And it's absolutely out of the box. So, you know, there, is, there are any preset I, I any s uh, plugin sorry i have just a little bit of uh, limiting uh, uh, on the master but this is the absolutely out of the box Then, of course, for example, I created this part and now I can absolutely 
uh, add, for example, now I, I load uh, a multi-instrument without the sequencer and let me try with uh, starting Viking, why not? And in this case are always multi-instrument, but I can work with the round robin uh, manually. Let me explain a little bit how I, I've mapped uh, uh, the round robin, but to explain this maybe it's better if I start from a single instrument because this is important to understand and uh, let me try for example with the Gran Cassa. Um, so, an important thing to understand that uh, I, I, I really love this kind of mapping because in my opinion is better to play. So in general uh, you have uh, for example, the, the dynamics uh, mapped uh, in a singular key with the multi layers, so th with the MIDI velocity. In this case, I, I created this mapped, mapping because, in my opinion, it's better uh, and you can choose, you can choose the, uh, the perfect uh, dynamic that you, you need. So the first note, in general, is uh, dynamic one. It one dynamic one. Uh, second uh, second notes is dynamic two, Dyn dynamic three, four, five, six. Okay, and for each it there are twelve round robin. Okay, so. For a lot of instruments, you have an additional keys here that you can see as a, a, a little bit of different yellow color, a little bit warm yellow, a little bit orange. But in this case, we have the mapping, the classic mapping with the the, the dynamic on controlled by MIDI velocity. And I love this kind of mapping because allow me to create, uh, to play the library with two hands, two hands. And I think it's really, really cool. And I can show you, for example, uh, with frame drum. For example, you can use the first two hit to play in this way. So I, I can I have more control. Also, the classic uh, mapping. Let me try on this.
now I I quantize a little bit, uh, but only the first the first uh, hit. Maybe this one, this one. Okay, I'm using a soft quantize. Of course, I can add also the audio loop. Why not? So as you can see, during uh, uh, when I, I I'm playing, uh, maybe I, I try different combination. Uh, in this case, I here I, I changed the the the, the notes to have a little bit a uh, a variation, and it's always uh, an instant sound. Absolutely stunning. Now, let me try something of different. And uh, for example, I can uh, let me try with another sound here. Uh, maybe let me try with frame drum. Okay, go and play. So this is uh, what happens if you don't go and play. That the, the, the timing is is a little bit uh, random. So to have to be sure to be sure that you have the perfect timing, go and play. Now is is okay. I try with this uh, sequencer. I start with the first note and then I change to create a variation.
So with the sequencer is absolutely easy. Now, for example, if this is the starting point, but maybe I, I can customize uh, uh, the sound because uh, this preset, because uh, maybe I, I, I think, okay, it sound good for me, but I, I, I would like to change the, 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 the preset, the sequencer. Of course, you, you can do manually. Uh, of course, now I'm, I'm changing the frame drum one in this case. Let me set in solo. I can change with the preset here. So frame drum, uh, frame drum one. Let me try with complex 16. Then we have the arrow. Okay, maybe I won't try with this one and I won't change also the frame drum too. So let me listen in solo. Sequencer, presets, frame drum number two, number two. Let me try how it works. Let me try to change this uh, solo tom here. Let me try uh, where is the tom category. Toms. Basic. I start from basic. this one okay now for example I can add the audio loop record so now I'm not using the input quantize and uh, so the timing is not perfect so it's not a problem I, if you want uh, the perfect timing in real time remember to activate uh, the input quantize but in this case it's not a problem because now i quantize uh, what i created here and it's not absolutely a big problem So absolutely is easy. Let me try with another uh, another sound. Uh, I can try with some single instrument. Uh, for example, let me try with uh, warrior drum. 
Ok. I try with this one. Okay. Of course I can try also to change a little bit the sound, why not? Maybe I want uh, to have a close mic, more close mic, or more room. I can, uh, maybe I want a, a, a little bit a deep sound, a deeper sound. I can use the tune. For example, it's, uh, it's pretty cool using the the tune to drop the drop uh, to create a drop a dropped sound, a pitched sound, and maybe you can try to load another warrior drum, for example. But in this case, we, with the with this the factory tune to have a bigger sound. Uh, This way you can customize the sound and uh, maybe I can add another warrior drum here. Warrior drum three, why not? Let me try to add also an audio loop. Ties. and I copy this one here and this one here 